Hey everyone, my name is Radita. I'm a PhD student from RWTH Aachen, Germany. I would like to tell the story about how SC Conference changed my career trajectory. So a little bit of my background. I'm from Indonesia and in Indonesia, HPC is unheard of. And then I don't know anyone in my circle that knows what is HPC. And then things changed when I did my master's in Estonia. So my lecture back then, uh, I took several of his class about power computing and scientific computing, and I found that interesting. And also my lecturer, he's also really active in this HPC community field. And then uh, he showed me about this SC conference, and there is a student volunteer program there. So I registered for this program. And it was SC18 that really changed my mind about what I want to do for my future. So a uh, little bit again about my background. I did the software engineering for several years after I graduated my bachelor and then growing up in Indonesia. Of course, uh, I don't see like uh, research and also a lot of other things can be done related to computer science. So I was like single-mindedly, I want to find a good company, like maybe like Facebook or Google or Amazon or something like that and be the software engineer there. So it's, it looks cool, it sounds cool. And then a lot of my friends are there. And then this, this kind of thing is like what, uh, what I only have in my mind. It was back then. And then I went to this uh, SC18 conference and I talked to a lot of people and then I noticed something totally different compared to other uh, tech conference that I have attended. It, it is the range of age of people attending this conference and their enthusiasm. So I met a lot of uh, people that has been like decades of experience in this field and also wearing several souvenirs like t-shirts or bags from uh, the oldest SC that they can find. Like they are really, really super energetic and they are really nice. And I had a chance to talk to them, what drives them to this uh, conference and to keep like working and contributing to the community. So it was a really interesting insight. So, uh, it teaches me that there are values out there that uh, can't be described only with money. So a lot of research in uh, SE out there, it's about like how to better the human life, how to improve and bring the humanity to the next frontier. So this kind of thing, uh, like being the part of something bigger than myself, contributing to the advance, advancement of the life itself is something uh, that cannot be bought and it's inspiring for anyone. No one like woke up one day just wants to like earn money as much as possible. That will be like a really dull life and you will, I don't know, maybe you will turn to depression in no time. So hearing from them and also seeing them like, okay, age, 50s, 60s, and super energetic. I I really aspired, like I want to see myself in 10, 20 years, I will be like them. I'm still doing what uh, whatever I like to do. I will still uh, trying and eager to try a new technology. Uh, I would like to do something useful every day. So during that time, okay, this is the field that I aspire, I want to, and then here I am right now.